What's up guys welcome to Tech Ideas channel in this tutorial I will show you how to make a professional intro very fast and easy and you can use Lightworks iMovie or Windows Movie Maker or any other software it doesn't need to be a powerful one because all we're gonna need is a trimming tool and some title effects and an idea and for this tutorial I will use Lightworks it's completely free I'll leave the link in the description Okay now let's see the intro then I'll show you how to make it, so stay tuned. For the new users, after we open Lightworks it comes like this. All we have to do is to create a new project at the left corner in the top right here. After that it comes this little window, we name our project and choose the frame rate or make it auto. Then hit that create panel. After we created our project, now we click at the local file panel at the top right here. And we gonna import any intro template that has no name in it. I will leave some in the description below, including this one that we gonna use. As you can see guys, this have 10 video templates. I downloaded it from YouTube. And we gonna choose only one, to choose only part from the video in Lightworks. Put this tiny red point in the beginning of the template that you want, or any part of the video. Then click at this small arrow headed to the left right here, to determine the beginning. And it will create a blue point as you can see, to tell you it's done. Then we put the red point in the spot that we want our clip to end. And we just click at the next arrow, the opposite one that headed to the right, and it will make another blue point. Then we click at this little arrow to put it in the timeline. But if you use any other editing software like iMovie or Windows Movie Maker, you can select the whole clip, then cut it, and leave only the part that you want. It should not be a problem. After we have our clip in the timeline, as you can see here. We have B1 for video track number 1 and A1 and A2 for audio tracks number 1 and 2. So I have to clarify something. Audio 1 and 2 is two tracks that have the same audio. I don't know why there is two identical audio tracks but hey, if you can delete one, I don't care. To do that we just click with the right side of the mouse in the timeline. Then in the tracks panel here, we choose delete. And from there you can choose to delete any audio. As you can see now we have a clean and simple timeline with a V1 and A1. And by the way that's what I like about this video editing software, it's so easy to use and learn. I remember I learned almost the whole thing about this software in just 3 days. Alright guys now let's see the intro template then we continue. As you can see this intro template has no name in the end of it. So now let's add a title or a text and add some animations too. To look like that our text was behind this effect the whole time. To add text in Lightworks first we have to select the spot that our text will show up. By dragging this vertical red line to the point that we want our text start showing up. But if you use this intro template, try to put it exactly when the effect start to fade out. Then we click at this little arrow as I told you before and it will make a blue line. Then we move the red line again and choose the end by clicking on the next arrow. And now to add text in Lightworks, we just go to the VFX panel in the top right here. Then we click at this plus button. Then text panel also. After that we have three types of text. The crawl one, the roles and the titles. For this video we're gonna choose titles. By double click add it and it will automatically add it in the area that we selected before as you can see right here. Now at the box in the left we will erase the simple text and write our YouTube channel's name or anything we want. For me I will write best pro DZ for example. Then you can place it anywhere in the screen as you can see. And now after we add the text we are gonna make some changes to it. Like changing the police and make the text bigger. Also add some colors to it and enhance the outline. As you can see right here. And finally we are gonna add the fade in effect and put it in 1.5 second. So that our text will appear gradually. And this is very important to make the text seems that it will come out from those colors. 
as you'll see right here. But if you not have the result that you want, you can move the text back and forth a little. And now I want you to focus with me. First we gonna get rid of, of those blue lines, simply by clicking P in the keyboard. Then we disable the fade in effect just for now. After that we gonna trim this text right here between 4 and 5 seconds. We put the red line like here or something. Then we disable the tracks V1 and A1 simply by clicking at them. And after that we just cut the text by clicking delete in the keyboard. It's very easy. Now we gonna do the same thing again 5 more times. I mean cutting the text, but it has be exactly one second forward each time. And now we're gonna change the colors of those five partitions in the middle, and I'll show you why in a second after we do that. Also we do the same with the other partitions, but with different colors. Now as you can see we created this cool colorful animation. So let's see how it looks now. After that we're gonna do the same thing again but this time we will change the places of those 5 partitions to create another animation. I put this right here in the top and this here and here and the final one in the bottom right here. And now we have another cool animation that we will see right now. After we did all this, we just go to the last partition of this text. And we're gonna make the text right here a little bigger than the others. Like that. Also, we're gonna add another text from here to here by clicking at those arrows as I showed you before. And in the plus button right here. We double click at titles to create a new text. And now we put it under the main text. Also change the colors and outline. And finally we're gonna add the typewriter effect to it. From here and put it in one second. Then we're gonna switch to FX2 right here in the top and add the same typewriter effect to the main text. And put it in one second either. As you can see guys we have now that cool typewriting effect. And now let's see the whole thing from the beginning. This is it guys, now only what's left is to save this in the computer. All you have to do is to click with the right side of the mouse and in the export panel we choose YouTube. And from there you can give your video a name and click save. So that's all for me guys. If you find this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more tips and tricks like this.